Good morning, my grade 11 students. Welcome to Earth and Life class. I would like to welcome you all to another fruitful day of learning and knowledge in Earth and Life of week 2, lesson 3 of our learning module. And our most essential learning competencies is classify rocks into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. And for our learning objectives are identify the properties of rocks, classify rocks into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Okay, for our reminder, first, comment down your name, your section, and school. And remember to stay focused, listen, and participate. And also, bring with you your module, your pen, and your science notebook. And now, let's find me. Let's now find the word metamorphic, mineral, sedimentary, igneous, foliated, and rocks. I will give you two minutes to find the hidden word. You can start now. Time's up. The first word is metamorphic. Very good. That's great. Second one, minerals. And then the third one, sedimentary. And the fourth one is igneous. Next, foliated. And lastly, rocks. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Now, class, do you want to come with me? Let us explore the rock of house. Let's watch this.
such a wonderful scenery, isn't it, class? Do you know that a person who study rocks is called petrology? Petrology describes the rocks. It also describes the simplification of rocks. And also they study the tourists and how these rocks are formed. Very interesting, isn't it? And now, let's find out what are the three classification of rocks. How are rocks made of? And now we're going to discover it. Rock is any solid that is naturally found on earth. These are the natural substance consisting of aggregate minerals clumping together with other earth materials from natural processes. And aside from that, we also say that rocks is a consolidated aggregate of various types of minerals such as dolomite, granite, gravel, limestone, sand, and sandstone. And also, rock is consolidated aggregates of multiple individual pieces of the same kind, same kind of minerals. And aside from that, rock is not a single uniform of crystal. It is composed of many particles of a single minerals. Many single minerals compact together. And rock is also a fundamental building materials of our lithosphere. And now, what are the three types of rocks? The first one is what we call the igneous rocks. The second one is sedimentary rock. And the third one is the metamorphic rock. Let us now study the first type of rock. It is the igneous rock. When we say igneous, it means fire. So when we say igneous rock, these are formed from molten rock called magma. They are almost mostly crystalline and usually very hard to break. Igneous rocks are the different examples. The first one we have, the andesite, croc scoria. We also have dacetite, stuff, basalt, oxidinian, pumice, and lastly, prolites. And for igneous rock, it is also a molded materials that solidifies at the Earth's surface. Therefore, these are made of lava. And igneous rock is a molten rock beneath the Earth's surface that is magma changed to solid. And we also have two kinds of igneous rocks. The first one is intrusive rocks. These are formed from magma that cools and solidifies within the crust of the planet Earth. The second one is what we call the extrusive rock. These are formed the surface of the Earth from lava, which is magma that's emerged from underground. These are the two kinds of igneous, the extrusive rock and the extrusive rocks. And we also have the texture of the rocks. The first one is the apatic. The second one, we also have the glassy pumice. And the third one is panaritic and purpuretic. And another texture, the number one is the glassy texture. The second one is propetic texture. The third one is pinotetic texture, fascicular texture, and we also have pyroplastic texture and a panetic texture of the igneous rocks. And the second sedimentary rock is, is formed by accumulation or deposition of minerals of organic particles of the earth. The surface followed by sedimentation. Sedimentation is the collective name for processes that cause these particles to settle down in place. And aside from that, Sedimentary rock is layered rock that is formed from compaction, cementation, and crystallization of sedimentation. These photos above shown the layers of sedimentary rock. 
that were deposited in flat horizontal layers. This layer then uplifted and bent by mount and building. And here are the common example of sedimentary rock. The first one is limestone, the sandstone, and the shale. These rocks often start at sediments carried in rivers and deposited in lakes and oceans. When burned and sediments loses water and become cemented to form rocks, the facious sandstone contain volcanic ash. And also, when we say sandstone, it is made of sand grains that may have been deposited in the sea by rivers on desert and later cemented together with the minerals precipitated from groundwater. Most sandstone are made of, of largely of quartz grain because of quartz very hard and chemically resistant minerals. And aside from that, we also have the limestone. It is a common type of carbonated sedimentary rock. It is composed mostly of minerals, calcite and aragonite, which are different crystals form of calcium carbonate. Limestone forms when these minerals precipitate out of water containing dissolved calcium. And the next example of sedimentary rock is shale. It is a fine-grained sedimentary rock that is formed when silt and clay are compressed. It is composed of many thin layers and is rigidly split into thin pieces where these layers meet making its relatively brittle stone. Shell is composed of small grains, various minerals, along with organic particles. And number three kind of rock or classification of rock is what we call the metamorphic rock. The word meta came from the word Greek. It is a Greek word. And when we say metamorphosis, it means change. Igneous, sedimentary, and other metamorphic rock can change to become metamorphic rock. And next, metamorphic rock form when rocks are subjected to heat, high pressure, hot minerals, rich fluids, more commonly some combination of these factors. Conditions like these are found deep within the earth, tectonic plates, myths. And we also have the two classification of sedimentary rock or metamorphic rocks. They are the foliated rocks. These are the grains are arranged in planes and bands. And number two is non-foliated rocks. Grains are not arranged. And aside from that, Let's now watch this. It is all about the metamorphic rock. A rock is a natural form, non-living earth materials. Rock are made of collection of mineral grains that are held together into firm solid of mass. These are three types of rocks, the igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Each of these types is part of rock cycle. So changes in the condition of rock type can become another rock type or it can become a different rock of the same type. 
And now, we are almost done, my grade 11 students. Now, I want you to look at the picture. And I want you to tell me what kind of rock is being described or shown in the picture. For picture number one, you can comment down your answer. You can start now for picture number one. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, very good. It is igneous rock. For the second picture is, I want you to comment down your answer. Okay, what is your answer? That's great. It is a sedimentary rock. For the third picture, okay, I want you to comment down your answer. What is your answer? Okay, very good. It is metamorphic rock. Now, this time, I want you to write IR for igneous rock, SR for sedimentary rock, and MR for metamorphic rock. For question number one, I want you to comment down your answer, and please comment down IR, SR, and MR. You can start for not question number one. Okay, what is your answer? And the answer is, Number one is IR. Very good. You're going great. Number two. And for number three. And for the last number. Okay. Great job, my grade 11 student. Who got the perfect score? Five. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation and willingness to learn. The greatest science in the world, in heaven and on earth, is love. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening and participation. And thank you and good day to all of you.